So, we are back with another freaking trillion bitty video. Back with another trillion bitty. I don't know where you went for back two seconds. Back with second. another video. Um, so, go ahead and bring them on in. Y'all, what is going on? How y'all been doing? We are back with another video, and guess who we got up today? Hey, man, so this is the first time we ever done this. This guy named Brandon Williams, Fun Size. So he is Brandon like, or Brad? Brad. Oh. Brad Williams, Fun Size, part one. LOL Flicks. He is a um, dwarf comedian, a midget comedian. I, Let's so, see. So we're going to see. I've never heard of, of him either. So I'm I've sure. never heard of a mid midget comedian. It might be funny. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage, Brad Williams. Hey. <laughs> That's cool. He's on candy bar. That's hella confidence. Yeah, I love it. Hell yeah, you guys are happy. You guys are psyched. Of course you're happy. You know right now your story beats any one of your friends, no matter what the hell they're doing tonight. <laughs> right. Don't call you up yeah, tomorrow. Should have hung out with us, man. We went out to a strip club. They had a one arm stripper. She had a cartwheel. It was ridiculous. <laughs> What kind of lame shit did you do? Oompa Loompa made me laugh. Fuck off. You win. Okay? Always happy when they see midgets. You can't help it. A lot of you don't know who I am. Don't know what TV shows I've been on. But I walk on stage, you're like, this is going to be good. <laughs> you see a midget, you're happy. You can't help it. No one's ever seen a midget and yelled out, well, now my day has gone to hell. That has not happened. You right. see this, you're smiling, you're laughing, you know it's a good shot, you got a parade and some candy coming your way. You're <laughs> Doesn't matter, you can get fired from your job, find out your wife is blowing some other dude, you walk down the street, you see me, you're just... <laughs> <laughs> That's why we are not using midgets properly in this country. <laughs> we have normal jobs, we should not have normal jobs. They should be giving midgets to cancer patients. <laughs> How awesome would that be? Sorry, sir, discovered you have cancer. Damn it, here's your midget. Fuck you! No, <laughs> that's crazy. Okay. A lot of you didn't like that joke at first. <laughs> <laughs> then I finished it, you're like, we, we will absolutely support that charity. We will support that. We should do a 5K. We should do a 5K. <laughs> They're dwarfs. We should do a 2.5K. We should do a <laughs> And that's true. I do make people happier. I did a show one time. A woman came up to me after the show and said, Brad, you're funny. I run a children's hospital. I would love it if you came down to the children's hospital, entertained the children, brought them some smiles. Okay. I said, yes, that's perfect. I mean, hell, you guys have known me now for a few minutes, and you know my act is perfect for the fucking kids. <laughs> so I say, I'll do it. I go to the children's hospital. I'm exaggerating <clears throat> nothing. I walk into that door. A kid walks up to me, puts his hand on my shoulder, and goes, don't worry. They'll fix you here. <laughs> Karate chop the sick kid, okay? <laughs> Why did you, I'm there on my Saturday giving up my free time to help him. He's got to piss on my self-esteem. And, and it happened over and over again. I was walking on the hospital. There would be all these kids. I mean, God bless them. They'd be walking around, dragging their oxygen tanks behind them like that. Then they would look up and see me and go, Jesus, glad I don't have that. Oh, my God. That was <laughs> oh, my God. Guys. But I get it. I understand. I understand why people are excited when they see a little person. I totally get it because when I'm walking around and I see another little person, I get excited too. <laughs> I do. Then you guys see two of us. You get ridiculously excited. You know? It's so unique. Oh my God, there's it is two. so unique. I hope that. It yeah. is so unique. It, it is. Um, it ain't a lot of scenarios, but it's many times I've seen them. And uh, where? You could be in the mall. I think I was in the mall last time I saw somebody small. And then what you do? I mean, you don't take. I don't think nothing of it. Okay. Now you walk around cutting the food in your midget. I'm, I'm trying to think about. That's laughter. Were, were we somewhere recently and we saw somebody small? 
Okay. I want to say I thought we did, but because I looked, did you, it did felt you, like it. You look like you were firm, and then you asked me a question. <laughs> I'm trying to remember because when you said the mom, I'm thinking to myself, okay, maybe that's like, what we saw. My baby said, we would, man, we, we saw somebody, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, shut up. They do a trick. I, I really hope they do a trick. I'm thinking about L.A. <laughs> I do, I get excited when I see another little person. I'm not thinking about this constantly. It's not always on my mind. I don't walk around all day in my head. Just, I'm gonna make it up, I'm gonna make it up, I'm gonna make it up, I'm gonna make it up. I know, if your life had a DVR, you would have all 30 seconds back right there. So uh, and, and when I'm walking around and I see a little person, I get happy. Now, if the other dwarf I see is a male, if I see a male little person, I get excited. But at the same time, I know I have to fight him. What? I don't know why that is. Like it's two endangered lions. Oh, or please. <laughs> two bucks. Gotta be kidding. He's probably not for two, real. Two pit bulls walking on the opposite sides of the street. I don't want to fight him. He doesn't want to fight me. But we lock eyes. We're like, it's go time. Like, why? Maybe dwarf. Now all I hear is Tony, Tony all I hear is Tony Baker Tony, Cram. Forms <laughs> are like Highlanders, like there could be only one. I don't know. Now if I'm walking around and I see another little person and it happens to be a female, if I see a female little person, I get excited. You guys get quiet. <laughs> you see two little people come together, you're just like, oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Geographic Channel come to life. <laughs> like, Don't think and you'll scare him. It's his mating season. <laughs> now you would think that that might offend me. It does not offend me. I'm going to fuck that female little person. Okay. Well. T M I. It's happening. When it comes to dwarf pussy, I am a Dyson vacuum. I don't miss a damn thing. <laughs> It's happening. Dang. She's a woman. She has a choice. What if she doesn't want to sleep with you? Are you kidding me? I'm in the top five midgets in show business. She's fucking me. Okay? He said the top five it's in happening. show I'm business. I'm not <laughs> number one. I don't have delusions of grandeur. Okay? I know where I am. All right? Number one, Peter Dinklage from Game of Thrones. I love that too. Yeah, exactly. yeah I know him. I know him. Number two is this guy named Wee Man from Jackass. He's pretty cool. Wee Man, I know okay. both. Some of you know, know who he is. Some of you is. are just now realizing that I am <laughs> not Wee Man from Jackass. <laughs> you kind of do like Wee Man. You kind of do. <laughs> you idiot. <laughs> Number three is a guy named Warwick Davis. He was in a movie called Willow, an HBO show called Life is Short. Oh, my God. I haven't seen Willow in probably 30 years. No, not no 30 years. At least 25 years. You okay. remember Willow? Mm -mm. Man, that's an a old school, old school movie. There you go. Number four. That's me. Uh, I'm number four. It's not hey. bad. And number five is the chick... Damn it, what the hell is the chick's name? No, the dwarf chick. Oh, yeah, Justin Bieber. That, that is a hot bitch. I want to do bad things to that woman. She uh, is cute. Uh, not, the, not the cute. Not the hot pitch cute. Obviously, that's a joke. Uh, but I said that one night at a comedy club in Hollywood, California. Uh -oh. I didn't know this. Bieber was in the audience that night. And he did not like that joke. He did not like it. He walked up to me after the show. He's like, you're a son of a bitch. Hey, that was not very nice. The people say to me. Did he say he was looking up to him? <laughs> I love that that's a true story. Wow. Okay. This was pretty. It was, yes, it pretty was pretty good. funny. It was like. I didn't really to, have an expectation. Right. Because I've to, never seen it before. To me, I'm a comedy lover. I love it. It If it kind of takes the wind out of my breath. He was like. So if he was a tall person, it wouldn't have been funny. Mm -hmm. 
But being that he's a small person, it makes the comedy right. right. Quite funny. Exactly, because, you know, he can relate. And it was pretty much about him. So it was it was good. It was really, really good. And I knew he had seen him on TV. You want to tell me and act like I was, I didn't know what I was talking about, y'all. But I knew I had seen him before on television, so I was right. Well, you saw him. Give me my props, boo. Well, you saw him. I feel like I saw him in a movie, not TV. Mm -hmm. Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. Mm -hmm. That wasn't him? <laughs> Mr. Blue Guy? I've been trying to bless you by taking them little clips out. <laughs> okay. Well, I knew I saw him on TV. <laughs> <laughs> For real. Okay, I'm I'm gonna go and look this up. Okay. Because he said oompa oompa. So, so I know he could have been sarcastic. So all, all mid all, all mid just played. No, it. but that guy who played that character also had a large protruding forehead, honey. <laughs> just keep going now, man. Okay. <laughs> Wanna stop real quick? All right. Oh, okay. Uh uh. You got. I just did. You keep running off the cliff. Okay. okay. You keep running off, off the cliff. Cut that out too. Nope. Yeah, leave. Cut it out. Take all of it out, as you say. Right with the goop. All right. Go ahead and lead him on out. He was pretty. He was decently decent. He was funny, guys. I liked him. What is that? <laughs> <laughs> very, very. All right, guys. So glad you came and hung out with us for another video. This was kind of funny. Give us some feedback. Let us know what you really think of this video and if we should do more of Brad Williams. Subscribe to the channel, guys, and we'll see you on the next video. All right. See y'all on the next one. Oompa, oompa, oompa.